But coming up now, the clash between Murphy and Evans. It's the best of seven frames, and it's Sean Murphy who has raced into an early lead. He took the opening frame by restricting Evans to just a single point. That pattern was nearly repeated in the second frame. Rian Evans fared better, but Murphy was still able to pull away and double his lead. This is now the third. Murphy once again at the table, but this frame is tighter. Murphy edging ahead. Commentary from Clive Everton and Neil Folds. So just a handful in front. You'll need just about all of these reds. Can't win the frame without pulling them all. Well, that's Sean Murphy. The second surprising mistake from Murphy in consecutive visits. A baffled look on his face there, as if he thought he'd hit it right, but it was actually always hitting the top jaw. Well within her ability, but still missable. Came back further than intended for the blue. Well, this is a, a good looking positional shot. That really is. Played with Stein and right hand running side with the option of either red. Six. It may be that he's lined up for this red up into the green pocket. Great view of that. Never in any doubt. Seven. Now, possibilities of just flicking that top red out here. It won't pot anywhere. It's got to be played delicately. Well, he forgot the obvious part, didn't he? The sure, pot in the yellow. Seven. So, Rianne Evans is still in the frame. That's three balls that uh, Murphy has missed in this frame that you wouldn't expect him to miss. Oh, that was a fine cut, but at least it finished the right side of the pocket from her point of view. Another chance for Rian. He comes to the table only 12 behind. One. No. She's going to have to play on that red fairly straight, I think, along the cushion. Again, we know that she might play it left handed if she gets there. Well, decided to go with the angle makes the pot of course Six. more difficult this way but at least the cue ball comes away from that cushion be a good shot if you could just get the cue ball round of a couple of cushions on the black but the pot will always be the most important thing having quite a 
bit of trouble with flies this afternoon. Yeah, that was the. She took the gamble, I think, and played on the red in a more difficult potting angle to the obvious getting behind it. And of course, the cue ball now is in the middle of the table. That wasn't an easy shot. In this tight third frame, there was a prolonged safety battle. We rejoin the action with Evans back at the table. So, here's another opportunity. Okay. The yellow and the yellow again, I guess, will be the answer here. If Rianne does play the green to get on the yellow, she doesn't want to finish straight on it. Well, the brown just slips past. When the brown does its spot, that will be the first thing. If the brown spots out, there's not been a mistake made whereby the green is not going to be potter with many pockets. Five. And the green really could do with going to the left middle or else Rianne might have thought of a different shot than playing it. That brown. She might have thought that the brown was not going to go on there. With very little to choose between these two, we head back with Murphy at the table. Now then, chance to clear the colours she needs to get a frame on the board. And again, just shows that these, these pockets give nothing away. you can be sure of here any contact with the yellow and it's it's definitely going to go in but of course position was going to be the difficulty so it will races down the table again yes regardless of how tough the pockets are that was certainly a chance missed for Rianne Oh, that was a good shot. He's struggled at long range in this frame, but that really was an excellent shot on the green. Well, this was an opportunity, as you say, more than one Nine. for Rianne Evans, playing to the level we know she's capable of. I'm sure Murphy has scrambled 14. over the line in this frame. Yes, the mistakes on both sides, but uh, Rianne couldn't finish her frame winning chance, so Sean Murphy leads her by three frames to nil. Welcome back to Coventry, and it's the second Group 4 match. Earlier, Robertson beat Gould. He will now play the winner of the match currently on the table. Sean Murphy against Rianne Evans. Murphy has taken the opening three frames and is now just one away from the win. Evans has pulled one back, winning the fourth. This is now the fifth. 15. Evans already on the board. Commentary from Neil Folds and Clive Everton. Well, always looked in, but just hit the near jaw on the way through. The red that's just below the black is the one Rianne would like to... Shift out of the way just to free things up for the black to both corner pockets. So she's played on it and looks to be perfectly in behind it.
30. Winning the last frame has put a little bit of a spring in her step. 31. This break up to 31 and she's taken them well. Yes, and she's certainly picked up the pace of the table. It's taken her a while. She always also struggled. 38. But she's got a nice touch around the pink and black spot. A bit worried here. She's concerned how she's going to open the bunch up. She could do so here. She felt confident enough. Signing against it. Thought she might screw 39. off the bunch. But she's got the angle this time to disturb a few. It doesn't take a lot of power getting into the bunch the way they are to get the reds open. Well, oh, that's unlucky to finish there. 46. Disappointed not to have a pot on. Leanne Evans, 46. <laughs> That's another one. I don't know if you know. What? Wasn't it well struck? Well, just one shot can sometimes give you a boost, the boost you need. You really couldn't have hit that any better. It may not go on and win in the frame, but it'll perhaps give him an advantage of the balls if he can get in behind a bolt colour here. Blue. Blue ball. In fact, he's playing the blue. Might be the answer. Still tickling up to it, though. Sean Murphy won. Wow, we miss. Sean uh, right in the middle of three reds is where the key will end it up. The miss called, but Sean surely will take this red onto the middle. Can't imagine he can get a better opportunity than this from the snooker. One thing to make a big clearance <coughs> when you're in your stride, free flowing. Five. But it's quite another when you've been struggling for fluency. Six. Yeah, I just wondered actually whether Sean might consider playing on the black at some point with the red close at hand because he's going to need the black at the end of this break if it's the final black. But I don't know if that opportunity will come around. Is make, making this clearance, it's kind of hanging over your head that the black is where it is at the end. That will always be the most difficult shot. Just wonder if he would consider playing on it here. Like Thanks. I say, with the red there, next to it, it's not such a difficult shot as it might seem. Signing against it. 20. 
but he will still need it, whatever happens. Of course, now he won't play on it because black to yellow would be so difficult. Didn't mean to cannon the pink. Wanted to come past it. The pink now at not an attractive potting angle. Sean Murphy is going to break down and there are some difficulties up ahead for him starting with this yellow yes I'm not sure how he played it whether he played onto the yellow in the same pocket as the blue and he overscrewed it either way he's playing safe Sean Murphy it's quite a clever 32. shot this looks like he's got the snooker and also a chance in escaping from this snooker we and just might get the black into play it's possible if she plays a swerve she may not have enough control of the cue ball to avoid that happening and the frame becomes absolutely 50 50 you'd say yeah just wants to avoid flicking the black into play here if you can Well, she has avoided it. If his vast experience will give him an advantage <coughs> in this closing phase of the frame. There is a gap though between the pink and the blue onto the, the yellow, which we can see quite a lot of. Pretty imperative here. Sean has to lay a snooker from where the balls are. Got enough balls that can get in the way. He's got to take advantage of this situation. Tactically, he's a much improved player these days. He had a very good chance to lay a snooker there. Tactical opportunity missed. Okay, yellow under one cushion hasn't moved the back away from the black cushion. Pretty tense jewel, this Evans seventeen in front. Two. 
made that as a shot to nothing. And the yellow disappeared. And that does the game. Here's the two very good cocks. Well, she'll look at the score and see that at the moment Sean Murphy could tie the frame. Not now. Done. That's three good cuts in a row. Yes, in the last couple of frames, she started to cue really well, just when all seemed lost. Fourteen. Twenty and twenty. And Ryan Evans capitalised on her early 46 break and has reduced Sean Murphy's lead to 3-2. Welcome back to Coventry and the Champion of Champions tournament. It's the opening exchanges in Group 4. Earlier on, Neil Robertson got the better of Martin Gould over four frames. This is now Sean Third. Murphy against Rianne Evans. Murphy took the opening three frames, Evans the fourth and fifth. This is now the sixth, Evans is back at the table. Commentary from Clive Everton and Neil Foltz. The match just passes the two-hour mark. Well, this is a little bit thinner than she would have hoped. Cue ball running up and down the table. No, it was always going to be an issue. Couldn't really do anything with the cue ball to stop that happening. 36. Well, it might be worth her going for this red around the two cushions. Land on the colour nicely. Hang on. Very well, well, as you say, the tide has turned in this match. Ryan is getting a little bit of luck, but I think she's playing the better of the two players now, and it always goes with that. Just dropped in off the jaw. And that's a good so, shot. Sometimes a fluke doesn't matter. But this one, 44. well, might. Yeah, a little nudge on the red has been pushed up the table. Now she has a choice of pots. Yeah, queuing down on this to hopefully play on the pink to the right corner. 45. Definitely growing in confidence, you can see it. Now playing a left-handed shot, which will take her into the reds. Well, unfortunately, just got a little too close to that red. 51. Pity if it's the end of break because this has been by far the best of Rianne Evans in this frame, I think. <coughs> Already it's the highest break of the match. Rianne Evans. 51. Well, this looks very good from Murphy, that's the best safety shot he's played for a while. Yeah, 
Yes, this is trouble. Yeah, and trouble with most of the reds in open play, colours all around as well. So the 51 point lead, as valuable as it, as it is, one mistake here would allow Murphy back in. He could redress the balance in the frame very quickly. I guess it was worth a go. The old adage, Clive, if you can't see a safety shot, you might as well try and pot one. Yeah, from that sort of position, Murphy would have had the cue power to screw in the ball, but Rian doesn't have that kind of power. The frame is tight with the action going back and forth. We pick it up with Murphy about to take on a tricky red. One. Well, he's been fairly patient. Now he has a chance. Now he has to capitalise on this opportunity. Again, whether he can win the match here <coughs> remains to be seen, but... Five reds in the middle of the table with high value colours brings him right back into the frame at least. And that's to be his first objective here, not anything else beyond it. Sean would not want to get ahead of himself too far. Just look into the next couple of shots and see where it all lands. Seven. Very straight on that red. Play that will run through. He's got to get the pace right on this. I think round two cushions probably a better option. Eight. <coughs> a little lower than he wanted to be, but should still be all right. Well, that's quite a good shot. Didn't try and avoid the first red, he tried to hit the first red. And 23. I think that was good. The other two reds still in play, as you can see on the left. So the comeback is on in this frame. <coughs> the last two reds will be on cushions. So the crunch of the frame is approaching. 30. <coughs> 31. Thirty-seven. Thirty-eight. Yes, and he's now on to the first of those two reds, Clive, <laughs> with a slight angle. <coughs> Forty-five. Either got swing it round off two cushions or perhaps hold for one. Now what does he do? 46. Does he have the shot to count the red out or would he like to play in behind it? I mean, he was using the rest on the red down the cushion. It was very good with the rest. 
It's a question of whether he's got the angle. It's a natural to bring the red into play here. If not, he should think about a different option. That's what he's doing. Well, I don't think he's ideal on the red now, to be honest. 53. I'm not saying if he played it, he wouldn't get it, but it's one of those, should he miss it, there's every chance it won't move far away from the pocket. A frame winner if he gets it, a frame loser if he doesn't, in all probability. Not surprised that he played the safety, Sean but that's Mann, not safe. 53. No, you've got to make the decision that if you're not going to go for it, you've got to get the safety shot right, or else you might as well just take the pot on. <coughs> Tough shot, this. Tight on the rail. <laughs> Bang in the pocket. One. Six. Eight. Well, Sean just sitting a little bit lower in his chair than he was a few moments ago. Fears the worst here now. Eleven. No, he bet, I bet he wishes he'd not have gone for that last red. Did well to get back into the frame, but then he made a bad shot. That's not quite perfect. 50. Doesn't go into the left corner, don't think. This is the last possible thing that could go wrong. This for three all. And safety in. <laughs> 20. Well, Rihanna's played a good frame all the way through this one. The initial break was one thing, but the way she's followed up here has been very good. Rihanna Evans, 20. With that missed pink, Murphy was in need of a snooker, which he had so far failed to get. So difficult to get a snooker glove, isn't it, with the you know, black in the middle of the table. Yeah, with another chance perhaps to get this pink in or over a pocket. And we're into the seventh round decider. Welcome back to the Champion of Champions tournament. This is the second match in Group 4 and there's nothing between Sean Murphy and Rian Evans. Murphy had raced into a 3-0 lead. Evans pegged him back to draw level. This is now the seventh and deciding frame. Commentary from Clive Everton and Neil Folds. Oh the wow. worst thing about that is that the red has gone up near the right middle. It wasn't a bad safety shot, in fact. Got the general line okay, but the pace, you never really think you're going to go in off into the green pocket on that shot. Murphy with first chance. Red's well spread. One.
top players have got to make their class tell in all circumstances. And this What's is that? one which Murphy didn't expect. Neither did we. Well, the red just threads past the black. And you're cutting the other red as well. It's a key shot. Played it well. Eight. No, we've not played that one quite so well. He's certainly on one. But he's got awkward 50. queuing on it. Can't believe that cannon went smoothly there. Rianne hoping that her opponent isn't going to make too many from this opportunity. Twenty-three. Thirty. Thirty-one. This is what top players know that they <coughs> have to do. To play as if it means nothing, and it means everything. And certainly, Murphy would not want to lose this match, all the more so having been 3-0 up. 38. Thirty-nine. Well, interesting way of playing it. He could have easily gone into the reds, just nudging them, but there is a red that goes to the left corner. He's not on it perfectly. It's through a little gap. There it is. Cupel has got to control. I think that was a better 47. shot than it looked. You could have easily just raced away in behind a red there. This is starting to look very much like the match winning break. I don't know what Murphy's feeling inside. Not as calm as he looks on the outside. And he's certainly played these extremely well. 
even after losing three consecutive frames. He's kept 69. his cool, he's kept his composure. And with this red, he'll be past the post, barring snookers. Seven. He came to the table with a good chance. Yeah, little bit lucky went it off the top right pocket, but left a red near the middle. But like you say, he's taken them very well since then. 77. He's beginning to lose his way. He was being outplayed. But he's been in terrific form this season and probably helps he's had a good season. And the pressure comes on, he's just able to find a little bit more. 85. Yes, he's won 22 matches, lost only five this season. Eighty-six. Well, he's been tested. There's no question about that. Ian Evans has played very well. Better the match has gone on. I said earlier on when she was trailing three 0 that you know, we hadn't seen anywhere near see it, seen the best of her. A much better player than she'd been performing. And then in the last 92. couple of frames, we saw more and more of that. Ninety-three. Ian Evans started shakily. She's on the board of losing four now, but in the nick of time she's probably going together. 100. And on that frame. Made a 46 break in winning the fifth frame. And a break of 51 in winning the sixth frame. But Murphy has kept his composure. He's just played the balls on their merits. And this is a very creditable effort to clinch what has turned out to be a very hard won victory. Hundred and sixteen. This is the 500th century of Murphy's career. And he's made it quite beautifully under a lot of pressure. 121. Rihanna Evans has done herself proud, particularly in the second half of the match, and certainly has enhanced the profile of women's snooker generally. 125. But in the end, it's the world number eight, a player who has won the World Championship, the Masters, and the UK, taking it to the crown. Well, okay. with the break much. of 130. Yeah, Sean Murphy beats thank Rianne you. Evans by four frames to three. Rianne Evans staged a gallant fight back, but in the end, Murphy held on and progresses through to the quarterfinals where he'll face Neil Robertson, who earlier on overcame Martin Gould. That match is next in the 2019 Man Bet X Championship.